Welcome to Physics Tutorial. Today we will discuss about capacitors or capacitance of an electrical conductor. Almost all the electronic devices, the capacitors are there. It have a varied use in our day-to-day -day life. So it is essential to study about capacitor. Now we will see what is meant by the capacitance and what is a capacitor. Capacitance of a conductor. So what is meant by capacitance? So capacitance is a property of a conductor. It's, it is the ability to hold the charges. So if you are giving some charges to an insulated conductor, it occurs a potential. So as you increase the charges, the potential also increases. As you decrease the charges, the potential also decreases. So it can say that the charge is proportional to the potential or Q is proportional to V charge is proportional to the potential or I can write this equation as Q is equal to CV where C is known as the capacitance the proportionality constant in this equation is known as the capacitance so from this equation we can arrive at another equation for the capacitance that is C is equal to Q divided by V capacitance is equal to charge divided by potential or you can say that or you can define capacitance as the amount of charge required to raise the potential of a conductor by a unit amount. So this is capacitance. Capacitance is a capacity to hold the charges by a large amount without any high potential. Now the electrical capacitance of a conductor may depend upon certain factors. It depends upon the size and shape of the conductor and it also depends upon the nature of the surrounding medium. It means the permittivity of the medium and it also depends upon the presence of other conductors in the surrounding medium. SA unit of capacitance. SA unit of capacitance is nothing but Farad and it is named after, after the famous scientist Michael Faraday. So according to the equation capacitance C is equal to Q divided by V. I can write 1 by C equal to 1 by Q divided by V. Okay. Now I am writing this equation in terms of its units. So 1 Farad is equal to 1 Coulomb by 1 volt. So from this equation, I can define 1 farad. Now what is 1 farad? If the capacitance of a conductor is said to be 1 farad, then 1 coulomb of charge is required to raise its potential by 1 volt. So 1 can, farad can be defined as a capacitance of a conductor if 1 coulomb of charge is required to raise the potential by 1 volt. Now, farad is a large unit. So the practical purposes for problems and all, we use as a submultiples. 1 millifarad is equal to 10 power minus 3 farad. 1 microfarad is equal to 10 power minus 6 farad. And 1 picofarad is equal to 10 power minus 12 farad. Dimensions of capacitance. As the equation of capacitance or as a unit of capacitance, 1 farad is equal to 1 coulomb divided by 1 volt. Where I can write this equation as 1 coulomb divided by 1. Instead of volt, I can write it as joule per coulomb. This equation becomes 1 coulomb square divided by 1 joule. Instead of coulomb, I can write ampere into second because charge is nothing but current into time. So instead of coulomb, I can write ampere into second. Since there is coulomb square, I can square AS divided by 1 joule. Now, we will find the dimension. Therefore, the dimension of the capacitance is nothing but the dimension of ampere is A, so A square. Dimension of S is T, so T square divided by dimension of joule. Joule is nothing but Newton meter. So it is ML T raised to minus 2. Dimension of meter is L. Now rearranging this, I can write the dimension as M raised to minus 1, L raised to minus 2, T raised to 4, A square. Thus the capacitance, dimension of the capacitance can be written as M raised to minus 1, L raised to minus 2, T raised to minus 4 and A square.
principle of capacitor. So in order to explain the principle of capacitor, we will consider two plates A and B where A is positively charged plate and B is an uncharged plate which is kept closer to A. Due to the process of electrostatic induction, the phase just near to A occurs the negative charge and phase farther from A occurs a positive charge. This is due to the phenomenon of electrostatic induction. Now, the negative charge is closer to plate A comparing to the positive charge. This negative charge tends to decrease the potential of plate A. Similarly, the positive charge tends to increase the potential of plate A. So, comparing the distance between negative and positive charge with the plate A, negative charge is much closer than the positive charge with plate A. So, the net effect is that the potential decreases by a small amount. As a result, capacitance increases because capacitance is Q divided by V. As potential decreases, the capacitance increases. So, in this case, the capacitance increases by a small amount because the potential decreases due to the presence of this negative charge. Now, if I am earthing the plate B, all the positive charges get neutralized because when I earth B, the electrons from earth flows to the plate B. But the negative charge is halted by the positive charge plate A. So now here there is only the presence of negative charges. As a result, potential decreases by a large amount. As a result, the capacitance increases. So this is the principle of a capacitance. Hence, the capacitance of an insulated conductor can be increased with the help of an earth plate. So just place an earth plate near to the insulated conductor. Thus you can increase the capacitance of an insulated conductor. And this arrangement or this system of two plates where one plate is earth is known as capacitor. <laughs>